Okay, so I've got my level set. So now I'm actually ready to start exporting these tracks. So um, the process for doing that after, we'll go ahead and save it just uh, in case something happens. So the process of exporting your individual stems is really as simple as just uh, soloing out each track and just doing an export of that track into a stem folder. So, um, uh, so in that sense, it does take a while to export your tracks again. You have to do them individually. However, um, it is not done in real time because uh, a GarageBand, you're able to um, offline it, which means it um, bouncing a stereo track is relatively quick, depending on how fast your machine is. So this is the old click, which we're not using. Um, so I believe it's, I believe this is muted. Let's see. Uh, I can't remember if we muted it, in fact. You never let go. Yeah, we need to mute that click because we won't be using it. We're just using the uh, the click I drag in. Okay. So I'm going to solo that out, and I'm going to make my click track. And so what we want to do is under the share menu, we want to select export song to disk. And we want to make sure that the compress button is unchecked. We need uncompressed AIF files. Okay. Then it's going to ask where we want to save it. And I am going to save it into... Um, for now, we'll just save it into a folder here. Okay. And the format that I title my stems is a word, a letter for each word. You never let go. And then click and then underscore and then I usually like to throw the tempo in which is 79 okay so that's my click track so I hit save and then it's gonna start exporting that stem and as you can see it's cycling through the song fairly quickly so it's gonna take probably about depending on how many stems you have it could take about 15 to 20 minutes to export all your stems but uh, this is the process of just soloing out each track and then just doing a separate export and we'll do a couple of them and then I'll finish the rest and then we'll come back and and then go from there Okay, so that's done. So then all I do is unsolo that click, and then I want now I want to do my guide track. So I have two guide tracks, so I'm going to solo those both out. And again, under the share menu, export song to disk, export, and again, and it's going back to my original name here. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that to give me the base, and then double click on that, and this is guide. So now it's exporting my guide track. Okay, now something that I just noticed is that my the level on my click track isn't right, so I have to redo that one. So I'm going to redo my click track. And if you ever need to overwrite a file like I'm about to do, just I'm just going to click on it and then it matches the name up here. Save, replace. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to continue on and get the rest of these stems out and then we'll come back and look at the next step. But it's just basically going through each track, soloing it out, and then exporting it.